Yes. Yeah, g'day everyone. It's been a little while since uh, the last um, video, but um, yeah, just happened to get out locally. Uh, unfortunately, one of the people in Melbourne, which shortly will be the most locked down city in the world. Um, so we've got sort of curfews during the night and get two hours of exercise a day and we can only go 5Ks. So um, luckily I live in a relatively older part of Melbourne so there's a couple of little spots that I've hammered <laughs> over the years but uh, let's hope I can uh, find a couple of pieces so uh, a couple of pieces to get gold now I wish I wish I was out for gold but uh, a couple of coins um, yeah I hope everyone's well obviously um, mental health and all that kind of stuff is really really difficult and people losing their jobs so um, all the best to everyone out there um, yeah, well, in, in one way, I know we've probably in Melbourne, we've probably got still got another at least a couple of months to go in lockdown, but um, hopefully there's uh, a better ending in sight and we no more lockdowns, hopefully by sometime in early November or mid-November. So, um, yeah, looking forward to getting out. I've got a few things that I want to do, uh, especially over Christmas, which uh, should be really, really good. So... Um, Hang in there. Uh, I know people love watching the videos, especially when there's not a lot to do. Um, so yeah, hopefully I want to go to my local spot, which is an old little, no, I'm not that old, it's a primary school, it was sort of just a one room primary school that was there from oh, from 1940s to 1960s. Um, so what I've sort of, uh, what I'll find to be around that sort of era. And um, it was an original police paddock, but um, there was no structures in there for the for the police, so there's nothing much there. So, but anyway, you never know what we can find. So that's the uh, that's the joy of the joy of the hunt. So, take care, everyone, and um, yeah, hopefully, close to the end of the year, um, we're getting a few more videos and um, actually being out and uh, getting out to the bush too. So, all the best, and uh, yeah, look forward to. Uh, Catching up in the uh, catching up with you in a not too distant future. Cheers. Yeah, that one was relatively shallow. <laughs> 1945, sitting right there. Like that. Half penny. Yeah, well, still a few. Oh no, 43, sorry. 1943, half penny. Still plenty, <laughs> plenty of them around. Yeah, right next to the vents. And 19... Oh, 40 something. Oh, it's a six. It's hard to find this ground. And you can see what it looks in. It's uh, all volcanic, so pinpointers go off there. Nuts. I just found. And it'll be a roof. Dark roof. 50 something. It's like George. Beautiful. Thirty one. <laughs> Elizabeth nine fifty, and then maybe eight or something like that. Last one. There you go. Taking a wall. Another plain bubble of things. A ruby. 40 something. There you go. Well, I had to get out. Got two hours of exercise. Just had. It's alright, let's move this out of the way. Just had about. Uh, an inch of rain last night and a little half penny. Some description. 
is an old school site from you know, 1940 odd, so yeah, it looks like a real one. There you go, your beauty. Hope you're all doing well out there. Still got another couple of months of this in Melbourne, so not great. Oh, don't you wish they were all this easy? <laughs> I'll just open the plug up and sit in here. That's an old shilling. 1910. That'd be Edward. There you go. I must admit, I've found plenty of shillings. I've never found an Edward shilling. That's a new one. <laughs> Gotta love it. How good is that? <laughs> Sitting there. My last coin, my two hours is now up. It's a two cent piece. There you go. I uh, found a couple of other two cent pieces. But uh, yes, we turn into pumpkins after two hours, so back to it. It's been a good day out there. Well, a good couple of hours anyway.